Hello and welcome back to another episode of Transport Fever 2. As we can see here, we still have a few traffic issues on some of our roads. So if we come out of this view and take a look, this new bridge that we added is certainly helpful, but there's definitely clearly demand for people to move across the river. And as stated before, we really only have like three, maybe four bridges to cross this river on the whole map. So I think in this episode, we're going to focus on improving connections across the river and maybe adding one or two more bridges, including maybe a huge bridge across this sort of lake area. Now the first area I want to look at is over here in Victorville. Someone in the comments mentioned that we should upgrade this road, which looking at it, I fully agree with as there seems to be obvious demand to use this road. And I believe it's primarily to get to Brownsville and Corpus Christi from Victorville and maybe even Lexington. So let's come in here and let's go with a medium country road for now. This isn't letting us upgrade so I think we're definitely going to need to demolish and rebuild that bridge but these roads we can come through and upgrade all the way back to here where it then connects. I think I'm going to keep it as a two lane road for now. Maybe we'll switch it to a four lane road in the future. But first of all, let's just get the speeds going up. So now this lets us upgrade. Not sure what was going on there, but now that that road's upgraded, we can continue and hopefully these cars will be moving much faster between these cities. So at the moment, I think the reason why this bridge is starting to get a lot of traffic is everyone from Alexandria and Clearwater and maybe even Mesquite and Louisville that want to cross the river to get to Bridgeport or Lexington or even Green Bay if that's not too far are coming through Alexandria and getting onto this bridge and it's sort of working the same way so people who live in Bridgeport that want to get to Clearwater, Alexandria, Corpus Christi are probably coming on this road to get onto the bridge then and that's where we see all of these cars sort of packed in the one lane there and that's something we need to clear up right away. So this is going to be sort of the beginning of our major bridge project where we're going to connect probably this highway here all the way across to Corpus Christi here. And I think maybe actually we will connect it to this highway. Maybe we'll do an interchange. I'm not too sure yet. But first let's get the bridge across here. So we'll start with the street. I think we want it to connect to this highway. Like that. And then we'll go with the six lane road just because we'll anticipate a lot of traffic taking this bridge. So then we can pretty much take it straight across. Let's go with a suspension bridge 
I think it'd be really cool. It'll change up sort of the look of the area too. So let's go with that. Okay, now here's our huge suspension bridge that goes across our river slash lake area. It is six lanes all the way across. I wanted to get it so it sort of had an arch to it, but just couldn't get that to work and look good. So we have a pretty flat bridge. I still think it looks amazing crossing this river here. So the next thing we need to do is just figure out how we're going to connect it up here. And we can then see the sort of impact it has on the area. All right, so here's our intersection to get onto the bridge from this highway. It's not really the best looking thing. I've had to really modify it to account for the height difference and just the little amount of space that we have here. But functionally, this should work normally as it should. So let's just give this some time and see what happens and how it updates our traffic patterns. One thing I think we will do though is connect this road right up to the roundabout here just so that people coming across the river don't have to get on this highway and go through this jammed roundabout just to get into the city of Lexington. So hopefully that connection will help with our traffic issues and ease up this highway just a little bit. So now even after just a few minutes we can see demand on this bridge starting to slowly increase and climb up to some higher numbers which hopefully will take some strain off of this route here in Alexandria and maybe even for whatever reason the people coming all the way over to Victorville to get into Lexington or Bridgeport. And sort of as we stated before we are just gonna have to keep an eye on this highway here and make sure this clears out just so we don't get any major traffic backup. And now I think the last thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go through the map and make sure we don't have any more dirt roads connecting between cities. I'm pretty sure we got most of them, but I do know there's a few spots where you would have to take a dirt road to get between some of the cities. And at this point in 1986, that just wouldn't really happen. We'll leave dirt roads that go to like these industries as that's probably a little more realistic, but anything else here, any other dirt roads connecting cities, we'll just upgrade those. So the first one that comes to mind when I see this is the connection between Myriad and Green Bay. We do have this dirt road that's pretty heavily used running between these two cities. So I think we'll take this four lane road and just extend that all the way to the point where it meets Green Bay. Now we might have to delete this road. Yeah, because it is too close to the train tracks here. So we'll delete sort of that portion. And then from this, we can bring that over, connect it up and then upgrade this road all the way back into Green Bay. So we will bring this a good way into the city, or at least to where it'll let us. We'll have to delete that road. There we go. We'll bring it to probably about there. So we'll go with that. There's that connection now upgraded. And then I think the next connection we need to update 
is this one here, even though it is a small one, in order to get from Murrieta to Arlington, you either take this dirt road or you would take this road here, which would connect you to Mesquite and any other city up here. So we'll start over here with this road, upgrade that one, and then we'll come over here and if we can, it doesn't seem like it'll let us. Well, I'm not too sure why. It might be this this train track, this train crossing here. So we'll just redo this road until we connect back up across the tracks there. So we can upgrade that. Bring it around here. I'm not too sure why it keeps having trouble. Let's smooth out a lot of this terrain. That might help with our steep road issues. So now when we cross, we're still getting pretty bad incline there. So let's try flattening an area that we can then use to cross. So we'll bring this road up here, and it looks like we can make the crossing just fine right there. So I'll pull this road back one more, and then we can connect up there just fine. We'll smooth out the mess we made, and then from here, upgrade it all the way back to the city of Arlington. And now I think this might be the last one we have to do, but this road between Durham and Arlington could also be upgraded as this is largely a dirt road between the two. So this will keep as just a two lane road as there doesn't seem to be too much traffic on it just yet. So we'll upgrade this all the way to this intersection here. And I believe that should be all of our cities connected with at least paved roads. There's probably some alternate routes that people could take that would put them on dirt roads, but we at least have one sort of fast connection on some of these roads. Now I just came across this and this is a pretty bad traffic jam. If we follow this, we can see it goes all the way through this mountain over here and all the way into Toledo, which is something we definitely did not want to happen as this is sort of our biggest route for our uh, fuel hub right here. So we're gonna have to do, hopefully we can get a four lane road to squeeze between here. If we do this, cut that back just a tiny bit, and we take a straight road, and looks like we can connect up with a four lane road. There seems to be a lot of it. I'm really pushing the game right here, deleting these roads as it tries to figure out where to place these trucks. But then we can connect this road back up to here, and hopefully this will cause a lot or solve a lot of our issues. So really the only way to know if this works is to just sort of let it run. I might even upgrade these roads as well to four lane roads. I'm not sure if that's really gonna help as it seems most of the traffic's going 
to the left, so most of the cars will probably just switch over to the left lane. But here, at least, we might be able to uh, fix a lot of our issues by adding more lanes. And then, of course, we'll have to pause, delete this road, and get a new connection to the train station. And then we have to temporarily connect up to this road because we did leave some vehicles there. And now we can bring this straight in like that. So hopefully we'll see a lot of this traffic start to ease up as this these roads help split where all the cars are going to go. We'll have to come back and see if this fixes it, but if not, we might need to extend this highway out to Toledo. Which wouldn't be a bad thing, it would just be really hard to do with this mountain and sort of the rough terrain that we have. Now, I think that's pretty much going to be it for this episode, so if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you have any feedback or suggestions, leave a comment below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.